Virgo singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Keep in mind that anything that is said in this reading can go vice versa and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity. The lover's card is your overall energy. So some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything may not resonate. And check me out on Instant Go. So this is a situation in the past where things were stuck. They were in a state of stagnation. This is also a situation where you felt victimized. You felt like you were this person's victim um, because you were always at the subject of, you know, you were you were disappointed and heartbroken by this person's actions. And maybe you feel like this person didn't give you the time and attention that you deserved in the relationship because they were more focused on something else. Okay, so we've got Virgo here with the Hermit card. So Virgo, your energy is very strong in your own reading. Virgo, it looks like you were in a period of isolation at one point. You know, in this relationship, you played Hermit. You know, um, maybe... You disappeared. You There were disappearing acts in this relationship. And we got the moon card. Pisces. Okay. Definitely someone with some secrets. Someone with doubts about the relationship and where the, this relationship was headed. And there were some very painful words that were spoken. A very, um, mm, yeah, painful and deep and heated exchange of words between the two of you. Because I'm seeing that someone maybe didn't know how to hold their liquor. Someone was maybe overindulging in alcohol. And someone was very in love. This is someone that was very in love with you, Virgo, or vice versa. It looks like you've thought about coming out of the cold. You know, um, you've thought about working the situation out. And maybe you've thought about reaching out to this person, you know, and, and telling them how you feel. Because you've been having some nostalgic memories lately. You've been thinking about them. And this person has been on your mind. You haven't, you're having these memories of how happy things were in the past. For some of you, it's a Leo. And what ultimately brought this relationship to its knees was the trickery. And, you know, you realize that you were at an impasse. Maybe you felt like this person was a fool because we got the fool card. You felt like their behavior was foolish. And, um, yeah, you just, you didn't have time for that. So it looks like you backed down from this relationship because what it came down to was movement, choices, and decisions. And you were tired of waiting. So you stood your ground and you made it known that you know, it was time for this person to to set this firm foundation, you know, because I feel like that's what you wanted, Virgo, or vice versa. You wanted a firm foundation. You wanted something that was going to last for the long haul, you know. So you figured, yeah, there was a lot of chaos and conflict that happened in this relationship. But it looks like you're hoping to leave all that behind. You know, this was a situation, you know, things were in limbo. There was a feeling of uncertainty. There was definitely someone juggling, maybe thinking, weighing their options out. And maybe you weighed the pros and cons in this situation, trying to figure out, you know, is it worth investing in this relationship? Things were a bit up in the air. And I feel like someone had these scattered think this um, overall scattered thinking. And maybe you find yourself thinking about the heartache and loss of this relationship, Virgo. And you're trying to figure out what it is that you want and who it is that you want to be with. Because this is apparently a three-party situation. A situation where you felt trapped and bound to. You felt stuck in this relationship, possibly, you know, because of children. Or it could have been because of finances. And so, yeah, you're trying to balance things out and trying to figure out what the best option is, you know, and you're coming out of this period of isolation and it looks like you're ready to act on your decision and it looks like you're leaving. You've decided that you're leaving a situation, the chariot card, you are about to travel. 
I'm seeing, yeah, leaving a situation, traveling. This is a relationship that you decided in the past, Virgo, that you didn't want to work on. And, you know, maybe your ex has some resentment there. But someone's definitely leaving a third party situation to become single here with the Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> Sorry about that. And yeah, the Ten of Wands. You're packing your things. You're leaving the past behind and you are moving forward with this person from the past. And you're coming out of this period of isolation where you are, you know, stuck in your head constantly thinking about what it is that you're going to do. It was like this situation was overtaking your mind. But in the past, this was a situation where the foundation of this relationship came tumbling down. I'm seeing also a third party ending with the tower card. So Virgo, it looks like you, you've come a long way. You know, you're considering taking a trip. Yeah, you're, you're leaving the past behind. But yeah, you've come a long way. You come up now as the king of pentacles rather than the fool card. No offense. Um, no shade, I promise. But you come up as the king of, of pentacles and you're focused on your finances and your career. And the two of you are on a break. And this is a break that you didn't want. And it looks like you're serious. You're, you're moving on. You're moving forward. So some of you could be saving your money, you know, and really focused on your coin and bringing in your finances and getting your finances prepared to leave and move in order to set that firm foundation. Because I'm seeing that some of you are really serious about moving on to victory and success and leaving this past foolishness behind. You're looking into something serious and solid, solid like marriage. And then you have the high priest, which represents that, which is the hierophant in this deck. So maybe you're, you're thinking about marriage. You're thinking about something long-term, you know, and no more juggling your finances because I'm saying that you are truly, especially with the King of Pentacles, you're setting your financial future. You're setting your sights high and you want something solid for yourself. And the very positive thing about that is that you have the wheel of fortune. This also means that you're going to become solid financially. This also means that the karmic wheel is turning in your favor. This also represents an ending to a karmic situation. The Wheel of Fortune, like I said, things are moving forward. Things are looking up for you. You know, you've got the universe on your side conspiring with you to play out whatever it is that you're wanting. You know, because like I said, you've come a long way. You've gathered a lot of wisdom. You know, in this third party situation, it looks like it's coming to an end. You've let that go. And it looks like your passion is re reignited. You're ready to start over. You got number one at the top. So 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune fortune and one here with passion ignited endings and new beginnings is what you're moving on to you're looking for new partnerships new a new partnership okay but otherwise as it pertains to finances new partnerships new alliances and it looks like with the full card you're willing to take a leap of faith and you're leaving behind the past you know and you're hoping to reunite with your partner, you also have the world card, success, travel, something very positive. And at the center of your reading, you have the magician. So you realize that the power is in your hands to make a decision. You have everything at your fingertips to manifest whatever it is that you want. And it looks like Virgo, you're on the move. You're making it happen. You have the ace of cups. So not, not only is your money looking good, but your love life is looking good. Like you're in love and you're ready to uh, manifest something new with this person from the past. So you're leaving behind this old way of being, this conflict and defeat, constantly feeling like you don't have things in order, constantly feeling like you can't get your emotions in check constantly feeling like everything is up in the air, like you're going with the wind, like going with the flow. You're, you have um, made a solid plan. No more scattered thinking. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to 
forge ahead. And with the third eye chakra, yeah, it goes along with the magician manifesting what it is that you want in your life and you're realizing how powerful you are. And you are now in tune with your intuition this week. You're more in tune than you've ever been, it seems like. So you're moving on to clean up this relationship that you had in the past with your soulmate because this was a situation full of drama. And you're realizing that there's still some attraction and some chemistry there between you and this person. And you're forging ahead to see what you can do about fixing this and bringing it back together because, you know, maybe in the past you didn't see it, but now you do. You're realizing that this person could be the one and that you've already, already met the romantic partner you seek. So yeah, now it's about forgiving and learning and healing the past so that the two of you can move forward and have something solid. Yeah, you're moving on to victory and success together. And so, Virgo, I've seen that you've gone through a lot of spiritual growth and you've kept the faith and you're moving forward. Virgo, it may be time to get some rest because I'm seeing that you're staying up a lot or you have in the past. You stayed up a lot thinking, worrying, trying to plan things out. But it looks like with the Wheel of Fortune, yes, now things are on the move. Now you've made decisions and you're ready to, to make them solid. So the two cards of advice that I pulled prior to your reading, one of them is home. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So Virgo, I'm definitely seeing a move coming into your life. You're definitely changing directions here. You've got many cards showing that. So that's something that you've been thinking about and you've been laying a foundation. You know, like I said, you've been gathering your money together, getting your, your money situation together so that you can move. We got medicine woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So that's what you're coming to realize, especially with the magician and third eye. So I feel like some of you are really coming in, you know, you're in tune with, you know, your higher power and with the, your, the own power, your own God given power as well. And I'm seeing that, yeah, that, God is conspiring with you to bring these events into your life. Because, yep, yeah, I'm seeing that you're finally taking the steps forward into this new life. And you're leaving behind the past. You're leaving behind this chaos and conflict, and you're ready to come out from being left out in the cold. So now it's about forgiveness. And for some of you, it's about sobriety. Because I'm seeing that someone could have been drinking a bit too much in this situation. Oh, and some people could be going through body changes due to drinking. Yeah. Or due to not getting enough rest. But I'm seeing that you're, you've, you're, um, yeah, and some of you it may be necessary for a dietary change. But that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. So now let's move on to advice card, an advice card in closing. Let's see what Holy Spirit has to say about this. Oh, and I forgot to show you at the bottom of this deck, Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So let's go ahead and pull a final card of advice for you, Virgo. Okay, here we go. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo singles moving forward to a relationship with their soulmate? The soulmate from the past, Holy Spirit. What final word of advice do you have for Virgo? Virgo singles for the remainder of January 2018. Let's see. One more shuffle. I'm being guided to cut the deck. victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. 
creative writing, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. And at the bottom, okay, I'm telling me pull one more. Clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use feng shui. And at the bottom of the deck, compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So Virgo, that is what I'm seeing for you this week. And possibly even for the remainder of January, it looks like you're you're looking at righting your wrongs, you know, fixing the things that um, need fixing in your life, and making peace with the past. So yeah, all right, Virgo. Well, this concludes your weekly reading. If you're interested in booking a personal reading. You can uh, book your reading on angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also book a reading, uh, not book a reading, but um, you can also reach me on the Instant Go app. Okay, so what you would do is go down in the description box below. There is a direct link to my Instant Go profile. So, um, yeah, you would just open up the app and we, uh, you would text me your question and I will get back to you, you know, within 24 hours. So, yeah, that's the Instant Go app. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, don't be afraid to leave a comment below letting me know how the video resonated with you. All right, everyone, thank you, take care, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.